Given points on the unit circle, find the corresponding angle in radians over the interval from zero to two pi radians, where zero is in the interval and two pi radians is not. Or we could say the interval is closed on zero radians and open on two pi radians. The reason this is important is that we can determine the six trig function value shown here below by using the points on the unit circle, as long as we sketch the angle in standard position and determine where the terminal side intersects the unit circle. The first given point is zero comma one, which is this point here on the unit circle. When our angle is in standard position, the initial side is always along the positive x-axis, and we know the terminal side intersects the given point. To find the angle in this interval, we rotate counterclockwise from the terminal side, which gives us 90 degrees, but we're asked to express the angle in radians, which is pi divided by two radians, or one half pi radians. So let's write this as pi over two radians, which is equal to one half pi radians. In the homework, only enter one of these expressions. The next point is negative square root two divided by two comma square root two divided by two, which is in the second quadrant, which is this point here. We have the initial side, we have the terminal side, and we have rotation counterclockwise. The angle theta is 135 degrees, or in radians, three pi divided by four radians, or three fourths pi radians. Next we have square root three divided by two comma negative one half, which is in the fourth quadrant. This point is here on the unit circle. We have the initial side, we have the terminal side, and we have rotation counterclockwise which gives us 330 degrees, or in radians, 11 pi divided by six radians, or 11 sixth pi radians. Next we have negative one half comma negative square root three divided by two, which is in the third quadrant, where both coordinates are negative. The given point is here. We have the initial side, we have the terminal side, Again, we have rotation counterclockwise, which gives us theta equals 240 degrees, or in radians, four pi divided by three radians, or four thirds pi radians. Next, we have square root two divided by two, comma square root two divided by two, which is in the first quadrant here. We have the initial side, we have the terminal side, and we have counterclockwise rotation, which gives us 45 degrees, which in radians is pi divided by four radians, or one fourth pi radians. And then finally we have one comma zero, which is this point here, and therefore the initial and terminal sides coincide, or are on top of each other. So we either have one complete rotation counterclockwise, or no rotation, and because the interval includes zero radians and does not include two pi radians, we use zero radians as the angle, not two pi radians. I hope you found this helpful.